Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a project to share with you today. We are working through our butterflies unit and today we are going to make a monarch butterfly sun catcher. For this project you need some Fabriano watercolor paper, that's the kind that we're using but any watercolor paper will do just fine. This is the kind that I like best for working with my silhouette cameo. Now I'm going to trim this down so that it fits onto the silhouette cameo mat and it's 11 inches by 12 inches and then I just need to feed it in to my silhouette cameo and get it ready to cut out this design which is a monarch butterfly. This is a design that I got from the silhouette cameo store and I'm just going to enlarge it so that it's quite large. I want pretty much the largest that I can fit on this particular size paper. I want this to hang in our window and I want it to be able to be seen from the outside. Though I like it this big, because it is so unnaturally large, I actually don't like it as much as some of the smaller versions that I make for a different project. All right, so now it's time to send it over to the Silhouette Cameo to do the cutting. This project took about three to five minutes to cut out, and it makes such easy work of doing these intricate cuts. Now I just need to remove it from the cutting mat. You can see how easily it comes up. I set my blade to setting number 10, and that works perfectly for this kind of paper. So I want to show you the kite paper that I'm using for this project. These are nice, thick, but translucent sheets of paper that work perfect for this project. All right, so I went ahead and I cut out another butterfly so that I can sandwich that kite paper in between the two butterflies. That way it looks good from the inside and from the outside. So I made kind of a mistake here, and I'm assuming that both wings are identical, but they are not. So when I come to arrange them, one of them works and the other one doesn't. That's okay. I went ahead and I cut it again, and now they work perfectly. I'm just going to cut out some brown for the body of the butterfly. Next, we're going to paint the butterfly in black, and for this, I am going to use my Distressed Ink Sprays. Now, this works pretty good, and I can get good coverage on most of it, but I'm going to come back in with a paintbrush and just touch it up to make sure that I get good coverage. Now, I recommend that you let this dry completely, but I was impatient and I didn't, so I am using a glue stick as adhesive, but I think that if you used a spray adhesive, it would work better, and indeed, for another project, I did. And I also thought that maybe some Tombow Mono Adhesive would work well too, but not as good as a spray adhesive. So if you're going to do this, I recommend using the spray adhesive over a glue stick or a liquid glue. All right, so now it's time to add some of the details that a monarch butterfly has, and I am going to use some white out to add those little white dots, and I think that works pretty well. Of course, you could use what, some white acrylic paint. And this is what the project looks like when it's done. I do like it, but I think in the future, if I were to do this again, I would prefer a smaller scale sun catcher butterfly. It looks really nice in the window, and it does brighten our schoolroom. Okay, so if you want to see some of the other projects we're doing for our butterfly unit study, you can tap on the screen right now. I've also left a couple other playlists for our spring units that we've done in the past. And don't forget that if you want to see what we're up to on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.